stone soup. The soldiers trudge down a road in a strange country, country. They were on their way home from the wars. Besides being tired, they were hungry. In fact, they had eaten nothing for two days. How I would like a good dinner tonight, say the first. And a bed to sleep in, said the second. But all that is impossible, said the third. We must march on. On they marched, suddenly ahead of them, they saw the light of a village. Maybe we'll find a bite to eat there, said the first. And a loaf to sleep in, said the second. No harm in asking, said the third. Now the peasants of the place feared strangers. When they heard that three soldiers were coming down the road, they walked among themselves. Here come three soldiers. Soldiers are all, always hungry. But we have little enough for ourselves. And they hurried to hide their food. They pushed sacks of barley under the hay in the roast. Loft. They lowered buck buckets of milk down the wells. They spread old quilts over the carrot beans. They hid their cabbage and potatoes under the bed. They hung their meat in the cellars. They hid all they had to eat. Then they waited. The soldiers stopped it first at the house of Par and Pan Cozy. Good evening to you, they said. Could you spare a bit of food for three hungry soldiers? We have have had no no food for ourselves for three three days," said Paul. Prank cozy made of sad face. It has been a poor harvest. The three soldiers went on the on to the house of Albert and Lu Luizy. Could you spare a bit of food? And have you some corner where we could sleep for the night? Oh no, said Albert. <coughs> Albert, we gave all we could spare the soldiers who came before you. Our bed are full, said Louise. At Vincent and Mary's, the answer was the same. It had been a poor harvest and all the grain must be kept for seed. So it went all through the village. Not a peasant had any food to give away. They all had good reason. One family has used the grain for feet. Another had an old sick father to care for. All had too many months to fill. The villagers stood in the street and sighed. They looked as hungry as they could. The three soldiers liked to get talked together. Then the first soldier called out, Good people, the peasant drew near. We are three hungry soldiers in the strange land. We have asked you for food, and you have no food. Well, then we'll have to make stone soup, the peasant there. Stone soup? That would be something to know about. First, we'll need a large iron pot, the soldier said. The peasants bought the largest pot they could find. How else to cook enough? That's none too large, say the soldiers. But it will do. And now, water to fill it and a fire to heat it. Hit it. 
It took many buckets of water to fill a pot. A fire was built on the village square and the pot was set to boil. And now, if you please, three round smooth stones, those were easy enough to find. The pincent eyes grows around as they watched. The soldiers drop the stone into the pot. Any soup needs salt and pe pepper, said the soldier as they began to stir. Children ran to French salt and pepper. Stones like these generals generally make good soup, but oh, uh, if there were carrots, it would be much better. Why I think I have a carrot, carrot or two said Francozzi, and off she ran. She came back with her apron full of carrots from the bean bennets that led quite, quote, a good stone soup have cabbage, say the, say the soldiers as they sliced the carrot into the pot, but no use asking for what you don't have. I think I could find a cabbage somewhere, said Mary, and she hurried home. Back she came with three cabbage from the cupboard under the bed. If we only had a bit of beef and a few potatoes, this soup would be good enough for a rich man's table. The peasants thought that over. They remembered their potatoes and the side of beef in hanging beef hanging in the cellars. They learned to fetch them a rich man soup and all from a few stones it seemed like magic. Ah sighed the soldier as he stirred in the beef and potatoes. If we only have a little berry and a cup of milk this soup would be a feat for the king himself. Indeed, he asked for just soup, just a soup when last he dined with us.